Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. This video is all about planet Mars. Which of these houses planet Mars is favorable is what I'll be discussing in this video. First and foremost thing, Mars represents adamancy, Mars represents disputes, Mars represents ego, Mars represents cruelism, Mars represents aggression, anger, Mars also represents conflicts, disturbances. Mars represents on the positive side technology, missionaries, you know, factories, you know, landed gains, landed property gains, and also vitality, and also health issues and any diseases related to blood, blood pressure, all these things governed by planet Mars. Okay, the blood in the body is being governed by planet Mars, and uh, and um, for planet Mars, the energy is fire. So these people are always pepped up with energy. People with strong Mars, you can able to uh, recognize very easily. These people are quite go-getters, action takers. They don't wait. They don't just sit and keep thinking. They get into action. They get the solutions for the problems just like that. And that generally happens if at all they have strong Mars in their birth chart because they are very action oriented in nature. Mars also represents impulsiveness. So people with unfavorable Mars, ideally they get into impulsive actions, they buy necessary things and they lost money just like that. And that generally happens if at all they have unfavorable Mars. And they are very quarrelsome in nature, they, very, they get into conflicts, they pick up the quarrel very quickly and that generally happens if at all they have unfavorable Mars in their birth chart. So which are the houses Mars is favorable? If Mars is placed in the first house, fourth house, and also 7th, 8th and also 11th and 12th houses. These houses are not favorable for planet Mars. If Mars is placed in the 2nd house, 3rd house, you know, 5th house, 6th house, even the ninth house, 10th house and the 11th house. These houses will be very favorable for planet Mars. Because Mars is all about fire. Okay to get into energy, to get into action. So people with people with first Mars, people with fourth house Mars, seventh house Mars, even the eleventh, even the twelfth house Mars, these people are quite aggressive in nature. So they like to do the things in a very aggressive manner. So that generally damages the relationships and so Mars will not be favorable in those houses. Maybe if at all they have some blessing from the zodiacs and if at all that that specific house belongs to the favorable zodiac sign then obviously they won't be much damaged to relationships otherwise because of their speech because of their communication because of their attitude these people lost a lot of relationships and of course in this video i want to restrict myself to discuss about strong mars so people with strong mars are very bold you know they like to take decisions independently they don't like to depend upon others they are very bold enough, they are very dynamic enough, they are very action takers, they are go-getters, they like to do the things, they want quick thing. They want things to happen in a very quicker manner. They are very impulsive in nature as well. At the same time, from the positive side, these people like to work very hard, they are very task-oriented, they are very sincere and honest at work and they don't like to get that minute remark about themselves because they take it very personally if people with uh, people whose birth chart have Mars very favorable in their birth chart and they have very good vitality and uh, most importantly you see these people are very handsome as well if at all it's in the male birth chart and of course if at all, if at all it is in the female birth chart the Mars is favorable then you'll see they are very beautiful they, they like to dress in a very beautiful uh, you know beautiful manner they like to present them uh, present to the others in a very confidence you will see see people with strong sun people with strong mars you will see first thing that you notice is confidence you don't need to teach them confidence they they are the ones who generally teach us what is confidence so that's that's the attribute that you can naturally see to the people who have strong mars in their birth chart and mars is favorable with sun mars is favorable with moon so along with moon, it forms a Raja Yoga called as Chandra Mangala Yoga. In fact, I would have discussed about this Raja Yoga in my YouTube channel. Please do, please do browse that video as well. So with Chandra Mangala Yoga, it brings very good amount of finances, good name and fame, abundance, prosperity, and also heights of success in the person's life. If at all, Mars and moon are in conjunct in the birth chart.
and ideally mars should be favorable in the d9 chart as well so don't come into a conclusion that by checking only the d1 chart let me tell you once again you have to check the d9 chart which is the navamsha chart as well because that gets activated after the age of 30 so it is very much important for you to analyze the d9 chart as well okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you don't need my astrological consultations please book for an astrological consultation once i get a consultation order i'll be able to help you with a complete analysis pertaining to your individual birth chart not only about not only about mars i'll be discussing about all the nine planets and i'll be preparing a analysis report pertaining to your individual birth chart please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video